Welcome back. Today we're going to take a look at the top 20 cryptocurrencies by market cap. We're going to start with Tron and number one, followed by Chainlink, Toncoin, Avalanche, Polygon, Polkadot, Litecoin, and then we're going to have Shiba Inu at number 19. Let's go! TRX against BDC. Here we are for TRX against BDC. Any clear signs of a. Uh, yeah, again, we are. We've been marking around the skinny pink line though. First, we blasted off above it. And then we came back down. And then we, uh, man, we ran down. And then we're hitting it once, twice. And then we broke up. And after that, now we're back down. So, yeah, as long as we're under the skinny pink line, we'll remain with a bearish bias. If it's above, we remain with a bullish bias. So, we are anticipating a zip down for Tron against BTC. Uh, this looks to me like a head and shoulders. So, I think Tron could be heading a little bit lower. So, you want to be very, 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 very careful about rushing into anything for Tron BTC. Tron against USD. Here we are for Tron. Uh, okay, Tron. Tron is kind of a strange puppy. I'm not sure if this is an A, B, right? If it could come down for a C, this would be awesome, right? We consolidate a little bit longer, accumulate, and then pump. We break higher for Tron USD. This would be awesome. But again, we're not entirely sure. Uh, I feel like this could also turn into a symmetrical and hit higher. So yeah, Tron is just uncertain for us at this point of time. Link against BTC. Here we are for Chainlink. Um, I think Chainlink is forming an inverse head and shoulders here though. Left shoulder, hit. I think we're getting a right shoulder, and then suddenly, pop, we break out. For chaining against BDC, I think I think that's what's happening, right? Uh, we're above the skinny pink line, clearly, and I will anticipate us to stay above the skinny pink line. There is a noisy area over here, so I will anticipate Chainlink to hit a little bit lower against BTC, but still stay above the skinny pink line. Of course, we can't say for sure, right? Bitcoin drops dramatically. Very likely, Link BDC will drop dramatically as well. But we are anticipating the completion of a right shoulder. Uh, yeah, falling to this area, the noisy area over here. So, yeah, and it feels like we're coming down though. So I think there's probably a little bit more downside for Chainlink for the short term. Chaining against USD. Yeah, we've hit targets over here. We were saying that uh, more likely than not, we will hit. Uh, $15 and we've already hit it and after hitting $15, you know what's happening? We are we are consolidating for very likely more upside. Uh, again, what kind of a chart pattern are we going to get? A symmetrical triangle? Are we going to get maybe an inverse head and shoulders? Are we going to get ascending triangles? Again, we're not entirely sure, but I feel like Chainlink could be um, yeah, going higher though, but we probably need to consolidate a little bit longer. So, yeah, but the direction is still up. We're above the skinny pink line. So, we are switching our, not switching, we are we are staying and maintaining our bullish bias for chain link. Ton coin, ton against BDC. Here we are for, okay, I don't think there's much info on Bitfinex. But uh, ton against BDC is scary. <laughs> Why? Because this is a head and shoulders. Left shoulder, head. Oh boy, right shoulder. Right. Of course, I could be wrong, and of course, this could be a falling channel, and sure, we could break higher. But from a bigger perspective, right, this looks like a head and shoulders to me. So I'm not too sure if this is going to complete as a right shoulder. So again, we'll take things one step at a time for Ton BDC. Ton against USD. Uh, we'll look at it on gate. It's Chicon Central. Ton against USD. Again, we have a higher high on the price, which is a double bearish divergence, right? And you should be able to see that this is a lower high on the... MACD, lower high on the RSI. So again, I don't know if we're going to be coming back down under the skinny pink line though. All right, if we come back down under the skinny pink line, oh boy, this could be a very long drawn out uh, deep, right? We might again head towards the noisy area over here. 150 maybe before coming back up. But if you don't touch the skinny pink line and we continue to consolidate above the skinny pink line, and then yeah, more likely than not, the direction is up and we could complete a, an ascending triangle just like that. Sure, of course. So again, we're not entirely sure, so we have to take things one step at a time for Toncoin. AVEX, Avalanche, AVEX against BDC. Yeah, we, we broke above the skinny pink line, but we're kind of hitting back down, so I suspect we are coming back down under the skinny pink line for AVEX against BTC. I suspect, um, again, I, I can't say for sure though. There, there are no clear high quality um, chart patterns for AVEX, and we're not really truly clearly above the skinny pink line yet so which means that we could still drop pretty low though but if we drop pretty low oh boy we could also get a head and shoulders here you see this <laughs> this is not good so i'm like oh boy avex 
Let's look at the USD pair. Okay, but the USD pair is clearly above the skinny pink line, right? So I will assume that uh, this is already a bullish move and we will consider the 760 target to be uh, largely invalidated, right? Because we were anticipating a head and shoulders completion for us to head towards uh, these two targets before heading back up. But uh, we are coming back up right now, so we will anticipate uh, more upside, right? Even if we were to see a retrace, I will anticipate uh, a consolidation to stay above the skinny pink line. So that, yeah, more likely than not, uh, the bullish trend continues for AVEX. Just a little consolidation, right? It's kind of overheated at the moment, so we might need to cool off a little bit before continuing higher, right? So yeah, I think there's more upside for AVEX. We just might need to see a consolidation for AVEX first, right? Matic against BDC. Here we are for Matic. Okay, Matic is not looking good. Feels to me like Matic is about to take out the lows over here, right? There's one low here, another low here, and we're kind of heading lower. How much lower can we go? Again, there's a noisy area over here. So we might head towards like one sub thousand five. We're at thousand nine right now. So a little bit more downside, maybe like, I don't know, 23%. Again, I can't say for sure. <laughs> but um, yeah, if we were to drop lower to take out the, these clusters of stop sales, right? I anticipate us to stop around this area. Point. We go back up. Right. Uh, we're still under the skinny pink line though. So we are still continuing with a bearish bias for Matic BTC. Matic against USD. We're still under the skinny pink line. Uh, but I will anticipate Matic to be completing something like a symmetrical triangle over here. A, B, C, D, E. Yes. Mm hmm. <coughs> the thing about Matic is that um, we see our target over here at 38 cents. I don't think I don't think we'll be coming back down to thirty eight cents anymore. If we do come back down to thirty eight cents, oh boy, this will be so brutal, right? We went very close uh, to hitting it, right? But we didn't. We went up instead. So I think more likely than not, this will get invalidated, right? But we need to take out the right shoulder, left shoulder hit, a right shoulder. Take out the right shoulder. That's it. We will consider this as largely invalidated, and we will switch to a bullish bias for Matic. We would love to take a trade for Matic, but. I think more likely than not, it's a bull, uh, a bullish move. Uh, but the thing is, yeah, I think we're completing a wave C, right? A, B, C, D. This is an E. So what kind of an E are we going to get? We're not too sure. Is this a sideways kind of an E? Or is this like a falling channel kind of an E? Again, we're not too sure. So we need more time for that to happen. Uh, probably by January, December, late December, January, maybe, we'll get more information for the type of E we're going to get for Matic. Polkadot, dot against BDC. Here we are for Polkadot. Dot against BDC. Uh, <laughs> nothing for us to work with. Dot against USD. Okay, so for dot USD, we've identified a resistance line. We've already hit it, and we are marking around the resistance line and also at the skinny pink line. So it's like, hey, bro, what's this? We still have two targets over here, though. Are they still largely valid? Yeah. Until we spring back up above the skinny pink line, convincingly. With big buying pressure, uh, we will still anticipate these two targets to be hit, right? Things are still uh, kind of iffy for Polkadot. Yeah, but the po Polkadot wheels did take out the lows, some of the lows over here before heading back up. So again, consolidation, continuing higher for Dot. Mm, next will be Litecoin. Okay, Litecoin is not good. This is one of the very few coins uh, that has very bearish uh, chart patterns. Even for Litecoin against BDC, we are forming new all-time lows. So Litecoin is extremely weak, very, very, very weak, right? And you can see that Litecoin's trajectory is down, 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 right? If you take away this week, it is still a downwards direction move uh, for Litecoin. It's still not looking good. Against USD, okay. Against USD, Litecoin is also very bearish, right? Rising channel, breakdown. Rising channel. Uh, I think the next move is a breakdown as well, right? We have a target over here at $32 and we still anticipate $32 to be hit for Litecoin. Moving on with Shiba Inu. Ship against USDT. Here we are for ship. Any more ship? Nope. Uh, but it feels like we're kind of, kind of uh, moving back up. Okay. If you look over here, the mountain ranges, right? Very clear. Kind of a support. Broke it. Broke back up above resistance. Came back down. We hit the, hit the resistance again. And again, so it feels to me like we could be heading back up. So how will this look like uh, from a bullish perspective? I think more likely than not, we'll get an inverse head and shoulders kind of a chart pattern, right? If we could just consolidate a right shoulder above the skinny pink line, zip up, big buying pressure coming in, 
uh, consolidate here a little bit longer. January, February, March, April, May, and then pump. We continue higher. That would be great though. All right. From a bearish perspective, yeah, we fail to break the skinny pink line. We come back down again. And then again, I, I can't see it for Shiba Inu. Not at this point of time though. So yeah, again, we need we need more time uh, for Shiba Inu wheels to do their thing. And then once we see a high quality chart pattern, then we'll probably have targets, right? Like previously, look at this symmetrical triangle, right? Previously, look at this mountain range. Right. Clear, clear support. And then we broke it. Again, this is not really that clear yet. There's a nice resistance here, but we need to touch it another time, right? Consolidate right below it, break higher. So yeah, again, we, we need more time for Shiba Inu. All right, boys and girls, I guess that's it for today's top 20. Hope you guys enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Ta -da!